Today, a little how-to for creating little aged vials of fairy magic. Follow the link in the description for additional information and supply list. The large bottles on my work table are actual old bottles with real age. I want to match their look. Create a wash by mixing craft acrylic paint, white and yellow ochre, with plenty of water. Using a brush, coat the inside with your concoction. You want to dull the glass, giving a sense of age, adding grime to the crevices. A thicker wash will give a more opaque look. If your wash is beading and not covering the glass at all, try hand washing your bottles with hot soapy water and avoid any sort of rinse aid. To give my bottles a random appearance, I'm adding some extra grunge with a teeny tiny dab of dark brown to some of the vials and a second coat of wash to others. Aged glass is often dull. To emulate this look, I'm using some Elmer's School glue with my wash and blotting off the excess. This finish will not be washable, but for these small vials which will be glued into place, it provides an excellent old appearance. Once dried, the small vials look just like my authentic glass bottles. I fill each with glitter, mosses, and dried flowers. I've printed my Fairy Apothecary collage sheet on a sticky sheet of labels for easy application. Cut them out, ink the edges, and stick into place. Make sure to rub the edges well to ensure proper adhesion. One final wash to give the labels a not so new appearance. Some of the vials will get a cloth covering. Some are dribbled with hot wax. Experiment with placement before gluing your vials into place. Then tuck those little vials of magic and pixie dust into your box and fix into place. Add some butterflies or buttons or shells or whatever else strikes your fancy. Let the magical bits spill out and spread to the top. Sprinkle some glitter and add some dainty little feet. Now your fairies are ready for their apothecary duties to make magic and merry and spread luck and delight.